Square, your election command center. Now, voting is currently underway in the Ashanti region to elect a flag bearer for the Convention People's Party for the 2024 election. William Evans is connecting with us live uh, from the Nat Hall in Kumasi, where the elections will take place. Now, we also know that uh, the party, as it elects its uh, flag bearer today, we want to tell you the number of people on the ballot so far. We know uh, with this election only four months away, the former chairperson, uh, Nanakosia Ejapoma Kumankuma, is on the bill. We also know that a private legal practitioner uh, from Ponyao Anoche is also on the bill. Uh, Nanakosia Frempoma Sapon Kumankuma is on the bill, uh, the former, the immediate past chairperson of the CPP. Um, she is hopeful of clinching the flag bearer slot of the party. On his part, lawyer Frempo Yao Anoche, a flag bearer hopeful, believes that he is the marketable candidate that can win the hearts of Ghanaians to bring the CPP to power despite few months left to the general election. Now, the CPP since December 2023 has been embroiled in political turmoil coupled with a long-standing leadership dispute. Now, this was after key party officials, including the general secretary and the national and youth organizer, tendered their resignations, which led to the formation of an interim national executive council. We're keeping an eye on events at the Nat Hall in Kumasi. William Evans Inkum will join us shortly. But in the studio with me is Secretary to the Congress Committee, Eben Ajomahe Agbenya. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on the news. But uh, the event is happening today. Talk to us about the expectations of you organizers. Thank you very much. Uh, greetings to your viewers and listeners. Our expectation is that by the time we finish, we should be able to have a successful Congress that will be just and fair to everybody and to elect a flag bearer who will prepare or lead the party's mm -hmm. campaign towards the 2024 general election and to make, not just to participate, but to make impact in the election. That is what we are expecting mm -hmm. today. Indeed. Uh, one of the things that the flag bearer would be expected to do is to present a united front uh, for the CPP, galvanize all bases and ensure that the CPP is coming into the election uh, united. What measures are in place to ensure that it happens? Great. Uh, so far, we have been able to fix all that we need to do. Three days ago, and as of yesterday, we're sure that all our electoral materials had reached all the regions. Some were even airlifted. So we have done that. Those that have to do with financial services mm -hmm. were able to do those things yesterday. Those that has to do with transportation and so on, we have been able to settle all that in all the 16 regions. I see. We've been able to establish 17 polling stations across the country, 16 in each of the regions, and then one at the party headquarters, mainly for our council members, founding fathers, and central committee members. They are all in place. We have also made sure anything we need to do with Ghana Police Service, mm -hmm. we have satisfied the uh, requirement with Ghana Police Service as well as the Electoral Commission. And so uh, as of 8 o'clock, voting started across the country. And so, so far, it's been peaceful. Mm. Your reporters will even acknowledge Indeed. Speaking that. of reporters, let's hit the ground now and speak to William Evans Inkum. He's joining us from the Nat Hall in Kumasi. As you heard from Eben, the ele elections are going on across all 16 regions of the country. There are set 17 polling stations. Let's find out from Nat Hall what's happening there now. William, what can you report? All right, so over here, we have two polling stations here. and uh, It is taking care of 420 a delegate. In fact, the elected delegates here are 385. We have the Council of Elders and other, I mean, uh, uh, members of the CPP who add up to 
420 delegates. You also understand that out of the 420 delegates, about 30% of them are women. So far, uh, more than 100 delegates have gone through the electoral process. That is the voting process, and uh, we are still counting. Um, they come in, they go through the process, they vote, some of them will leave, the others who are still hanging around. But I can tell you that it has been generally peaceful. Kevin. Mm. I see. Uh, what are delegates saying to you? Well, so uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a two-horse race. Uh, we know that uh, me, Professor Anoche and, of course, um, the only woman in this particular contest. Um, so it's a two-horse race. But it does appear that uh, Frimpoma name's name is being mentioned by most of the delegates here. But, Kemeni, you and I know, I mean, the popular Sir John saying, fear delegates. We have been talking about her, but as to whether it's going to translate into the results, I think it's just a matter of time, a few hours to come. Indeed, William, thank you so much for the reporting. We'll touch base with uh, other reporters across the regions, find out how things are uh, panning out as far as the CPP's Congress is concerned. But with me here is Secretary to the Congress Committee, Eben Agbenya. Uh, Eben, so e essentially, uh, one of the things going into the elections were the difficulties the CPP, you know, experience yeah. uh, as a party. Now, coming out of the election, we expect that the CPP will be united with sure. whoever is in the lead at the, at the end of the day today. And, and again, I come to the question, what measures have been put in place to ensure that the CPP uh, is united and ready for the fight in 2024, <coughs> December? Thank you very much. It is important that any political party, especially in this crucial moment of his life, needs to do anything possible to, uh, to come together as a united front, especially preparing in this moment. The CPP has the same thing. Uh, so far, we have been able to speak with all our aspirants, even those who were unable to file, mm -hmm. that right after today, we all need to come together. And there has been that meeting between us and our founding members that, that we can't do anything without uniting. Each candidate has signed an undertaking that we need to bring our members together right after the election. Mm. So for us, across the region, the rank and file is prepared that, come what may, we need to have a formidable team right after today. Mm -hmm. We will be starting our campaign even right after the candidate is I declared. See. Considering it's only four months away from uh, Yes, the... we have done mm. it before. Mm. The CPP, when it was banned and in 79, when we were unable to fill the candidate, had to change, go through a lot of reforms. We used three months, and Hila Liman became president of mm. Ghana. We can do it because we have the records of doing that. We have been able to do what people have not been able to do before. I see. And so we are sure we can do it. And you this think the round. CPP has the same strength as the CPP that brought uh, yes. Liman into, our, our into gra power? Yes, our grassroots base is still intact. There's no problem there. So we are of the view that this election, it is an election that we will be able to make a very great impact that the Ghanaian people are almost ready to work with us and to go with us. Eben, thank you so much for coming. Most Eben Agbenya is secretary to the Congress Committee. Which committee, which Congress are we talking about? We are uh, referring to the CPP's Congress, which is ongoing in all 16 regions across uh, the country. They will be electing their flag bearer today. And as you heard from Eben, uh, as soon as they know th who is leading the party as flag bearer, they will hail they will they will hit the campaign trail running.